Hello, hello. How are you? Welcome. Lori here with Interior Jewels. I'm coming on today to show you how I attach signs to grapevine wreaths. I'm getting ready to start a grapevine wreath here. I do make my own signs. I paint these, I design the stencils, make the stencils, and finish them off to say whatever someone would want them to say, I can customize these. I do have an Etsy shop, as well as on Facebook. You can find those links in my bio above. Uh, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my page for more tips like this that I wanted to share. This is a wood sign not very thick. So what I'm going to do and how I attach this to my grapevine wreaths is with pipe cleaners or chenille stems. I call them pipe cleaners. And sometimes I have my staple gun here. And to be honest with you, I didn't look at what size these staples are, but many times your staples are thicker than what your sign is. And you don't want the staple to come through your sign to the front to see them. So what I do for that, I always keep my scraps of ribbon. Um, I'm sure especially any of our wreath makers or floral designers have tons of ribbon around. And what I do is just wind that up. I will even double and triple it. So that gives me a cushion. I already made my marks as to where this is going to go on my sign. I like to put them on my sign, um, or my wreath rather, sort of at an angle. I already know what this design is going to be. So I did mark off here where I wanted them. And then what I do is take my pipe cleaner. I bend that in half to get the middle of it. I put my piece of ribbon there. And then I staple that in. I put usually about three staples and then I will twist this to know that this is secure. And I also put a little bit of glue on top. So I know that this is not going anywhere. This happens to be um, a realtor wreath for me. I do make a lot of um, wreaths for realtors that they then give to their clients as closing gifts. So this is one of my popular. It's either welcome or home sweet home to the new home buyer. So I do make a lot of this particular type of wreath just to give you an idea. And again, I like making my own signs. I've had people who wanted them customized with the town name on them, which I can do. But I wanted to show you how to attach the signs. And you wanna make sure it's really in the meat of the wood. And then again, I twist the tie I put a dab of glue and I know that this is secure and not going anywhere. So you can see how there's two twists on here. And I will put this on my wreath just to show you how I attach this. But one, two, three, very easy. Again, I know that this is my top and I sort of want this to go on an angle. And I am just going to feed, sometimes you have to move the branches a little bit to feed the pipe cleaner through. Once I have that through on one side, I will pull it and then I will get my other side before I twist them off just to make sure I have it placed the way that I want it to be placed. Yep, I think that looks good. Once I have it placed there, I will tie off, and I'm using brown pipe cleaners, especially with the um, grapevine wreath, 
because you won't see that. It blends right into it. Let's just pull this one tight. And then again, once I get it tight, I will start twisting it. I do a good four or five twists to know that I have that in there securely and it's not going anywhere. But there's nothing worse when you have a beautiful sign and you're going to staple pipe cleaners on the back and you go through the front of the sign. You don't want that to happen. So the trick with putting the ribbon there is a great way to disguise that. And then I cut off the end of that, stick the ends within the grapevine wreath, and because of the color, it's totally camouflaged. You are not going to see the pipe cleaner at all. Have that in there. And look at how easy. Easy peasy. <laughs> so, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be happy to answer them for you. Um, or if you're looking to learn something else as far as wreath making or attaching signs or florals, please drop me a line. Again, I'd be happy to let you know that. Um, and I will be on again. Thanks so much for watching with me. Don't forget to subscribe and give me the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.